What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we're about to check out Randy Orton RKO's Out of Nowhere. Easily one of the best finishing moves in WWE and all of wrestling. And if we're going to mention the RKO, we got to mention uh, DDP's Diamond Cutter. Got to show respect there. Uh, it's pretty much the same move, if you want to be honest. The DDP's Diamond Cutter is... it's the same thing as a rko um it's a little bit different how they perform it i think randy orton's is a little bit more fluid in how he's able to time it so i could be wrong on that one you know what i'm saying on that assessment comment down below which one you guys like or if you care if you like uh randy orton's uh rko if you like uh ddp's diamond cutter comment down below which one y'all like and if y'all want me to check out a compilation of him hitting that finisher move on other wrestlers you know i'm down for that let me know you know i want to definitely show support to wrestlers when it comes to like their finishing moves when they get used by other wrestlers like to you know show support there and, and let people know where you know other wrestlers may use the same move as well so let's get into it randy orton is deadly with the rkos one of the one of the most believable finishers in w wwe and in all the wrestling and it's just a it's a move that gets the crowd just hyped every time it's hit so let's check it out Rollins, looking for the elimination. oh yep yep i remember that that was that was that was nice not gonna lie to you he hit that shit Yo, okay. I watched this one right here at WrestleMania. I believe this was WrestleMania 31. That one was so fucking great, bro. Like, I think this was I don't know. I don't think this was the opening match. It was it was early in early in the pay-per-view. This feud between uh Randy Orton and uh Seth Rollins uh out of the like the authority you know like they were having some clash some issues within the authority at the time uh i want to say was the authority still going on i could yeah the authority i think it, it was going on i could be wrong i i could be wrong on that i think they were still going with the authority storyline around this time period but when he hit this the crowd just erupted. It was so, it was literally out of nowhere. It was fantastic. This is one of the best RKOs I've seen. Oh, bro, that was so dope. So, it's just so fluid. It's just so fluid. Yep. Yep. Every time. When someone jumps off the top rope, you know they're about to get hit with an RKO. Look at this. Mm, give me that. Easy. I like that too. Like the camera will do a, a close zoom in on somebody and then all you see out of nowhere is just an RKO. Just, I love that shit. Love it, bro. You, you you know it's coming. You knew it was coming. <laughs> uh, this is when they were feuding around 2009, I think. Wow, that was that was a nice one. Here it goes. Bye, Tyson kid. It was nice seeing you. Look at this, bro. It's so the timing on that. You know it's coming. Every time someone goes to the top rope, it's it's raps. You know it's coming. Give me that mm, right there. Just you know. Yep, he's about to get hit with it. Boom! Timing on that. 
timing on that just beautiful. Now this one right here. Oh my. <laughs> That one was I ain't gonna lie to you. That one was dope as hell. The transition from him about to be choke slam to hitting it was fantastic, bro. This is the young Randy Orton, the legend killer Randy Orton, man. That was that was dope. I think that was at WrestleMania. Comment down and let me know if that was at WrestleMania. You know it's happened. Boom. The zoom in, well, it's not zoomed in, but it's close in on their face. It's easy. Easy. You just know it's coming. Oh. I don't know why he even went. Oh. That looked more like a stunner. Hold on. He didn't get all of it. That more. The way he landed, the way he dived off, he dived off in an awkward position, so it came off more like a stunner. He still got most of it. Oh, too easy. Yep. I'm sorry, Ali. Boom. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, and it's boom. There we go. It doesn't matter what your name is. <laughs> Bro, it's just, I love it, dog. He just, that shit is so fluid. He does it with, with ease, man. Hell in the cell is over with. We will Oh, this was, like I said, this was a good few when they were going back and forth with uh, like within the authority, it was Seth Rollins and uh, Randy Orton. They were kind of feuding within the authority. This was pretty good for you, man. Pretty good for you. Give me that. Mm. Oh, he sold that RKO. You just know what's going to happen, bro. You know what's coming. Give me that. Oh, man. Oh, out of nowhere. Go. I believe that. Oh, look out here. Oh, mm. oh that was nice. The transition on that, that was nice. You know what's coming. I never understood <laughs> why people, when they're when you can clearly see no one's coming out to the intro, like their their theme music, they're just sitting there like talking trash, like yeah, come out here, I'm ready, I'm gonna mess you up, and it's like, bro, no one thinks to look behind them, no one thinks to look at the crowd, and they just, yeah, yeah, I know you're gonna come out through the front because that's that's where you come out at, <laughs> like what? <laughs> RK on a nice carpet, nice rug, I mean. Here we go. Give me that. Okay. All right, my guy. What? We got to go back to the fan in the crowd. He was a little bit too excited. Look at this. This is a grown ass man with a beard. He's in there. <laughs> grown ass man. Oh, too easy. Too easy. Oh, that was a nice one, too. That was a nice one, bro. Give me that. Nope, there we go. Not the list. <laughs> the list. Oh man. Oh, oh he sold. Sammy Zane sold that shit. He flopping like a fish out of water. Let's look at that again. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. 
Here it come. I like how he came out of the, like, just right behind him, slid it up behind him. That was nice, too. He even had to laugh. Easy. <laughs> Give me that. That was nice. The transition on that was nice. Not even mad when Randy Orton won that Royal Rumble because no one wanted uh, Roman Reigns to win it, so it was cool. Give me that. Nice. Well, that's it. It's over, guys. Whoa. That's it. Bro. <laughs> Randy is stupid, bro. I remember that he faked being injured like at a house show like he got injured at a house show it was part of a storyline and people like the dirt sheets were picking up on like they picked up on the story like it was a real thing like he was gonna literally be out for a while like career threatening and it was all to play up for a storyline so I like that when they did have like house shows and stuff like that they tried to incorporate house shows into the storyline to get more people to check out house shows because house show attendance before this whole situation was going on with the uh the uh the um before this whole pandemic was going on uh crowd attendances at the house shows were dwindling it was damn near nobody was going so they started trying to incorporate main storylines into the house show so people could check it out and this is where you get this segment Strikes! <laughs> oh, look out, look out. You know it's coming. Give me that. Mm, easy. Easy money. Easy money, bro. Give me that. Oh. <laughs> Michael Cole, shut up. RKU. RKU. Watch English here. English from the second. Give me that. Jeez, bro. Mm -mm -mm. Just. Oh. I think that was around the few when they were having the. Christian was doing the one more match thing, trying to, you know, get one more rematch from him. I think that's when they teamed up. A little bit, uh, Randy Orton and uh, oh, and Bray Jesus. I'm sorry, Ray. I'm so sorry. That was nice. Timing on that. That was nice. That was nice. <laughs> yep. There we go. Oh, wow. This is that right there. That was one of the most legendary RKO's of all time. I remember watching that live and I was like, holy shit. What did I just see? Literally, that RKO killed Evan Boyd's career. Because... <laughs> People only knew Evan Bourne at that moment for that spot right there. When you think of Evan Bourne, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? This spot. Him getting RKO'd into oblivion. Him getting RKO'd into catering in the back. Him getting RKO'd to the mid-card division hell, purgatory. I mean, he was already kind of mid-card purgatory, but he was kind of gaining some, some steam behind him and... This RKO just put that steam completely out, and he was forever relegated to this moment for all of time. Even if you see him probably at a supermarket somewhere, you'll probably think, oh, damn, that's the guy that got RKO'd out of nowhere. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, 
That was nasty, bro. The timing on that was ridiculous. <laughs> bro, it's just so fluid. There we go. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Give me that. Easy. Easy money. Uh oh. That was nice. That was that was a nice nice transition on that one. Beginning to thin, and now Roman Reigns turns. Oh, Goodbye, Roman. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here, Roman. AKA Aquaman. Get out of here. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, Boom. KO. Easy, bunny. Easy. Oh, you know what's happening. Randy Ooh. Randy oh, man. Randy Orton with it. Oh, Where he wants to be. And. I never actually watched this match. I think it was maybe I think this was the first Super Showdown. I'm not sure. I don't I ain't really care for like the the little Super Showdown shows they be having, the glorified house shows. That's pretty much what they are. I don't even think I've seen this match. I don't I actually I, I didn't see this match, so I didn't even notice. I remember they were supposed to have a match. I just never watched it cuz I never cared. And goodbye, Nakamura. <laughs> oh. Give me that. Now, that was nice. That was nice. I like that whole little exchange. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I have never seen someone sell the RKO like that. My man's neck looked like it was snapped in half. Hold on, we gotta go back. I gotta time this right. Hold on, I want y'all to see how he sold this. <laughs> look, look at this. Look at my man's neck. He's done. That RKO, he sold that shit. Look at that. Oh my god, he sold that shit. Oh, I remember this. That's ridiculous. WrestleMania 23. Oh my god, Jesus. Yep, it's. You knew it was coming. Goodbye, Apollo. Goodbye, Big Show. <laughs> Give me that. Ease. McIntyre's at. Oh man. Send up for that Claymore. Hit him with it. Out of nowhere. And Randy Orton says he's going to go in anyway. And what an RKO. Are you talking about like when I do this? Easy money. It's just so easy, so fluid, so quick. That's that's why it's such a good finisher. And then boom. Ali be getting he be getting he be getting he be getting the worst of them. Like it's it's like the lead up to it. That's why. Like he does like a couple of flips, a couple of twirls just to get RKO'd. <laughs> Give me that. Oh! <laughs> I like how they he buffed it to him. Here you go. <laughs> okay. Oh, give me that. With ease, man. 
Just easy. Anytime someone go to the top rope, you end up like that. Oh no. <laughs> Oh wow. <laughs> this is the young Randy. I said we won. Oh. Oh no. Come on. Oh, I like that. That was dope. Jinder Mahal. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. Easy. Just easy. I keep saying easy money because it's easy money, man. You know it. You know it's coming. Anytime top rope, you know it's coming. This one was great. This one was so good. The, the zoom in on Brock's intense face and the fact that you have Paul Heyman saying you'll never hit a RKO. You will never be able to hit foam. Done. That that this one the setup to this one was pretty dope. Boom. And he hit one. Put away the shield. Give me that. Let's show you what happened at the end of this matchup. Boom, that was nice. That was nice. <laughs> get out the ring, Ray. Get up. <laughs> this is why I say get out the ring, Ray. Get out the ring. all those times that you used us. Oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> I like how. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's yep. Boom, there we go. <laughs> Randy is stupid. Randy Orton as a face is so fucking funny to me because he, he's goofy as hell. This nigga just woo. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm telling you, man, the timing is just everything. This is why it's one of the just best finishers. Look at that. Boom. Jeff always get hit with the twist of fate, spin around into the RKO. That's like the signature spot they go to. So easy. Look, whoop, boom. And back and forth once again, they go Christian again. Bye, Christian. It was nice. It was nice knowing you. Oh, man. Yeah, man. There you go. All the RKO's out of nowhere. I'm sure there was probably more that you didn't put into the clip. But nah, this was this was a nice little compilation. Comment down below if you want me to check out DDP's uh, Diamond Cutter compilation. And uh, I'll definitely check it out for you guys. But I appreciate y'all kicking in with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. <laughs>